Well, welcome everyone. Well, I get uh, kind of tired of uploading those like 30 videos yesterday, so these are my last nine knives. So I'm just going to kind of show all these here at uh, one time, just upload one video rather than another nine videos. So they're a little rough looking right now because they've basically been sitting in a box for a year no oil or anything on them so they all need a good uh, a good buffing minimum uh, the big one needs to be resurfaced because it's had a bad acid bath it was doing a, a picture etch on the blade and it uh, went horribly horribly wrong with the uh, the resist didn't hold and really messed it up so I had to regrind the, the whole picture off of it and it needs a a lot more work but it's uh, brass components with a uh, a uh, iron wood spacer it's got a uh, Nice elk, elk horn handle from a uh, fork. Nice contour. It's a large knife, 3 16th inch, 1095. It isn't going out for quite a while because it needs some, uh, needs some definite work redone to it. So it'll take a lot of sanding and everything before this one goes out the door. It's a nice, nice blade. Real strong, big camp knife. So, anyways, this here is one of my one of my worn cliffs. I have three. This one's, I believe, number three. It's very, very, very sharp. It has a uh, solid uh, epoxy handle what I made myself with uh, brass tubes. And uh, it's also uh, 1095, 316 inch thick. As are all of these except for, well, one of them, two, the two, the smaller ones, the two small ones here. These two small ones are uh, Eighth inch, while well, this one is three thirty second inch thick, all ten ninety five. And this one here is made from a Nicholson file, nickel silver parts, and and a crown stag handle with a rope pattern file work. Yes, I know most of my knives have rope pattern file work just because it's easy for me to do and. I like the looks of it best over the rest of the types of fireworks. Alright. This here is one of my other worn clips. Handle looks kind of orange in the picture, but the actual handle color is kind of a deep dark reddish, I think it's uh, raspberry diamond wood. It has brass pins, very nice looking color. Nice shine to it. Nice thick knife. And then this one cliff here is, uh, I believe, like an amb ambroia, ambrosia, something burl. See, so that a redwood burl, I can't really remember. But it has uh, solid copper pens. Also 3 16 inch thick, 1095. They're about 7 inch, 6 and a half, 7 inch long. And then this one here is my Scalpel Hunter. Black and fuchsia diamond wood handle. Scalpel style blade. Nickel silver pins. And it's got a fit that just forms right in the hand that feels like you have ultimate control. Just beautiful, 
beautiful fit. All rounded corners in the finger trail here on the thumb ramp. No sharp edges. Won't, won't hurt you or anything. And let's see. This little guy. It's just a scrap piece of uh, 1095 I had left over. I have a uh, 332nd from making a couple of it knives. So I'll put this one down, a little file work on the back. Just kind of goofing off. And use some more of that, uh, the leftover pieces of, uh, of, uh, this, uh, knife's handle scales here. It's one clip. I used the scrap pieces on this. And I made that handle material myself. It also has, uh, uh, brass tubes. A very, very sharp little knife. Very thin edge. Just goes down to nothing. <clears throat> this little knife here, I don't think I'm going to sell it, only because I think it actually has a crack in the blade where I hardened it. Right there next to the K on the name, on the logo. I think there's a crack that goes all the way through it, down about a quarter of an inch. So it probably wouldn't do anybody very good for very long. The handle material is, uh, also an epoxy handle that I made myself using little uh, pieces of, uh, well, I dyed the, uh, the epoxy myself blue and green, but I added little pieces of uh, chopped up uh, metallic candy wrapper and added that to it, give it a little sparkle to it, put some brass pins in it. But it really kind of shines really nice in the light. Needs a better polish on it. But also, a very, very sharp knife. This little one here is one of my little mini hunters, mini skinner. This one, I believe, has, I believe, Embraer Burl or whatever it's called. Not a really good figure to it, but pretty decent. It has solid brass pins. Rounded spine. Rounded finger choil. You get a good uh, three finger grip on it. Very comfortable little knife. It's very thin. Three sixteenths inch steel. Three sixteen inch thick steel with the uh, eight inch thick uh, scales on it. I have a uh, one piece left of the uh, of that same handle material. It's very very thin. Last one I've got to show today is a little mini drop point, and this one's made out of a small Nicholson file. It's a rope pattern file work on it. If you look right at the uh, bolster, it still has the uh, Nicholson file marks on it for the stamping, where it says Nicholson USA. And it's a black diamond Nicholson file. It's nickel silver parts, spacers and guard. It's a full crown stag handle. Very comfortable little knife. Made for smaller hands also. But excellent retention with that with that crown right in right in the end of your hand. Excellent feel. And this little guy is very, very sharp. I'll show a cutting test here if I can hold a piece of paper and the camera with the same hand. So, let's see if this is possible. I 
doubt it, but well, we'll try this one here. I'm only holding this with three fingers. Very sharp knife. And this little guy here. This little guy here. It's sharp like nobody's business. So I'm trying to hold it with two fingers. And Not as easy as it looks. Sorry, folks. Anyways. They're sharp. I'm watching through the uh, viewfinder of the camera the whole time. I can feel that blade right next to my fingertips. It's scaring the crap out of me.
anyways, they're sharp. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Alright. Take care, everyone. Good night.